joined first by Hofstra. Coach, if you could begin just with an opening statement on the game. I mean, I obviously, I give a lot of respect for JMU. They've been in this position a lot, and uh, I think it showed down the stretch with their seasoned, you know, players that have, have been in, in a lot of these, a lot of these games. So, hats off to them in that respect. But we weren't just happy about being here. So, uh, we have a lot to prove. So, as we move forward, we will, we shall do. Open up the questions. If you can please pass the mic around. Was the turning point in this game that power outage? Again, I'm not one for <laughs> excuses. 41 to 40. Uh, you know, it is what it is, right? We teach our kids to deal with adversity, so we had to deal with it. We didn't rebound, we didn't dive for loose balls, we didn't play as hard as we should have at certain times. That was the difference of the game. Alo, you were named to the all-tournament team. How does it feel to bring that honor to Hofstra? Um, I mean, um, well, I, it, feels, it feels okay, but I really wanted more. This was the championship, and now, um, I really feel bad that we don't have what we wanted right now. But um, I know we're going to be ready for next season. we definitely going to get it next year. Coach, do you feel that those missed free throws in the first half were the turning point or the deciding factor later in the game? You know, again, as a coach, you have to focus on the things that we can control. I mean, obviously, you can control trying to make your free throw, but you can control defensively on that end of the floor. So. I'm not one that's going to look back on a missed shot or a missed free throw. We, you know, we need to do what we need to do mentally and be able to knock those down. But I'm still going to go back about, you know, the, the battle of the boards, and especially the 22 to 15 offensive board situation. And I, and I just think we let some of their support players come in and kind of be very aggressive on us, most notably uh, the Destiny Jones kid. You know, she, she worked harder, you know, than us at times and, and got some buckets and got some rebounds. That, that made the difference in the game. Precious Hall went one of 20 from the floor. Lauren Okafor only played 15 or 16 minutes. Did you feel like you had the ideal recipe to win this game? Well, you know, when it's happening, you, you, you know, again, great teams figure out ways to win. And that's why I, I told you guys coming into this game that it wasn't all about Precious Hall, right? I mean, I said that in the last conference, press conference, and many of my conversations with my radio, because, you know, that what happened today is Jasmine, Guatney, and the way that um, the way that Gigots, Toya Gigots has always played against us, and those are again two two players that have had a lot of championship experience. You know, Okafor, remember she's only been there; it's only her second year, right? So, uh, you know, then that, that those kids step up and make plays for your team, you know, down the stretch, and, and we didn't answer to those guys. So, uh, you know, again, we've done a pretty decent job on pressures every time that we were guarding her, and we knew that they're a well balanced attack, but you know, we didn't do what we needed to do. Uh, you know, down the stretch here. Coach, as you said, experience on the JMU side. You don't have any seniors on the team. You don't lose anyone to graduation. So going into next season, you have this championship experience now. How right. did it help prepare in the off season, prepare for next tournament? Well, exactly. That was, uh, you know, after my little bit of disappointment of, on us on the defensive end, that's what I circle back to in my, you know, speech here at the end of the game. Uh, we're not done playing, so we're going to play somewhere. Uh, cross our fingers and toes, so we're not done playing. But um, that's exactly what we talked about. We've got a group that is going to learn from this. You know, they, they're going to have a little bit of pain and a little bit of regret here, uh, and they're going to let that fuel them in a positive way because we know that we have what's what's next. We have it in our in our program right now. We got these players that are freshmen and sophomores sitting right here. These two sophomores sitting right now. It'll be juniors next year. Uh, and I don't think they're going to forget this moment. I might want to ask Kelly that question, too, because I know she's a competitor and a half over there, too. So would you answer that, Kel? Does that fuel you? you? Next year? How does that fuel you for next year? Um, obviously, it wasn't just about getting here, like Coach K said. It was about winning. And I think Sorry. a lot of people doubted us, and we wanted to prove them wrong today. I think that's what hurts the most, that we don't get enough respect. And we know what we can do. So I mean. Bringing next year, I mean, they better be ready because we are, so. Kelly, you hit that three-pointer late and then knocked down those three <coughs> free throws. Is it fair to say that you wanted the ball in your hands with the game on the line? I mean, I just wanted to do whatever it took to win. And, you know, I saw the look on everybody's faces and I wanted to make something happen. And, um, you know, I, I just want to win. Every time I step on the floor, I just want to win. So I try to do something to help my team. And it went in, so. Coach, signs are pointing, like you said, to a, a tournament or a postseason bid. What you tell the players in the locker room to 
uh, put this game in perspective and get ready for whatever comes up next? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it'll be something that we'll be talking about in the coming days for sure because it's a big deal that you're playing. I don't know if my math was a little bit correct in there or not, but I don't know if it's 100. You got 64 and then you've got a 32 field or at least as their 128 teams will still be playing at a 390 or so, right? So, I mean, it's a big deal. So after they get over this, because this is the, you know, the dancing shoes that we wanted to have on, we wanted it. We, you know, we had accomplished a lot of our goals this year. We've accomplished a lot of our goals, and our goal was to be in this Sunday game and win this championship and go to the NCAA. So after that pain goes away, we don't, we're not going <laughs> to step aside on, on a postseason. And we need to attack that like that is our NCAA. So therefore, we are prepared, and we're not sitting here next year when we're going to the NCAA, and then don't have experience. That's got to be our experience. So for me, postseason experience, I know that from personal, you know, and then obviously my teams in the past, it definitely builds you know success in your program. So after we get over that, we will, uh, you know, we'll be having our eyes toward that. Time for one more question. Anybody else? All right. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, guys.